Easiest way to think about this as a muscle fiber, or essentially uh, almost like a muscle fiber, that runs in line with the belly of our muscle. So if we're looking at our visual, visualization here of the bicep, muscle spindle kind of runs in line in the belly of the muscle. And what it does is it's constantly giving us information on the rate of change of the length of our muscle. So as I go from flexing my elbow to extending my elbow, that muscle is shortening and lengthening. So I know that. And then as I go faster, my body's getting information about not only how much is that angle changing between these joints, how much is this muscle now lengthening and stretching, but how fast is it happening, right? And our body's constantly getting this information. If any of you guys have ever gone water skiing, I'm from the Midwest, grew up with lakes, the wakeboarding, water skiing, you'd be in the water, you're holding on to the ski rope, and if there's slack in that ski rope and that boat takes off, what happens when it catches is, is it jerks your body really quickly, right? So if that happens, if you think about the bicep, if I'm here and all of a sudden that takes off and boom, straightens me out really quickly, what the muscle spindle does is it causes contraction, automatic contraction in that same muscle group. And in some ways, especially if you think about it from the, from the, the ski rope standpoint, it's kind of protective where my body's like, oh shoot, this is changing really quickly. I don't want it to get to an end range and all of a sudden cause a muscle tear or something else, so I'm gonna cause contraction.